realized that he needed the Savior, he did exactly that. What did he do after that? Hopefully he went and found some clothing. <laughs> Good thing they didn't have street lamps back then, Brother Joe. <laughs> he was the first streaker in the Bible. Never read of another one. This is the only one. I'm going to, I'm going to preach a message, the first streaker on the pages of Holy Scripture, because he's there. But that's what I believe happened. Why? Because he realized that he needed Jesus. Now, this morning, where did all of that stem from? It stemmed from our, our original thought. And that was that Jesus beholding him loved him. You know how we love like Christ? We look beyond. Everybody in here has a fault. But I'll be honest with you, if you'll look beyond mine, I'll look beyond yours. And if, if you'll not be so let down in the preacher, I'll not be so let down in you. Why? Because I want to love people like Christ loved them, and I want to look beyond all that. It doesn't mean we're going to back up or back down and allow sin. We're, I'm not talking about any of that, because by the way, Christ always spoke the truth in love. Christ wasn't a sissy. He was a preacher. And he preached the whole counsel of God, because he was the Word. But I want to look beyond all that and see people for who they really are. Maybe you're not saved this morning. Hey, you don't even have to sell everything. You can just take up the cross and follow him this morning. Every head bowed and every eye closed by way of invitation time. Maybe you're in this room and you've never trusted Christ as your personal Savior. What's getting you to heaven this morning? Ask